UNESA has decided to open application for the academic year of 2022 again. So they've opened this window. I am not sure if these applications, they are open for second semester or first semester. But what I'm sure of is that they have opened for the academic year of 2022. So it could be for both first and second semester or only for first semester. I am not sure. It will depend when they have accepted you and you have to register and you'll be able to see if you can select all the 10 modules for the whole year. Ladies and gentlemen, please note that this video is not sponsored by the university or not by the government. So if you see value in this video, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe and click the notification bell for more information. Please, as I've indicated that it is not sponsored, Please make sure that you send your inquiries with you, respect your comments. There is no need to um, be rude or insult anyone. So yes. So the first thing that you must do, uh, just go to Google Chrome, any internet browser actually that you are using, but I advise that you go to Google Chrome, go to the UNISA website. Since graduations are taking place at the university, I would like to say congratulations to those who are already graduating, guys. Okay, um, you can read this information if you want to, but um, we want to apply. Uh, you must click where it says apply here. And then as you can see here, the applications were open from the 10th uh, of May. They are closing on the 31st of May. So for both undergraduate and postgraduate uh, qualifications, they are closing at the same time. So who can apply here? We will quickly find out who can apply. So you can use any link here, whether for returning on this one or this one, it will take you to the same page. So let's just click uh, the first, um, first applicant. So just to cover a little bit, people who can apply are people who are applying for the first time. UNESA student changing new qualifications or specification if you want decide you want to change you can apply during this window period. Applicants who previously applied for admission and were not offered the space or who were offered the space accepted the offer but did not register you can apply during this window period. Student completing a higher certificate or any other program and who wish to continue with further their studies that means you, if you want to continue with your diploma degree while you are doing a certificate or other program you can apply during this window period so please make sure that before you apply you have all these relevant document a copy of your school certificate or qualifications your metric your grade level not grade level uh, for, for people who want to apply for 2023 this is not your time to um, apply this is only for people who want to apply for 2022. So yeah, I assume that those who want to apply for 2022, they have metric certificate or they have um, university qualification, academic records, etc. Official tertiary academic records, as I have indicated, copy of your ID and uh, copy of your marriage certificate. Certificate if you are married, and uh, Swan Swan. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it, but yeah, Swan transactions of document if they are not in English or Africans. Yes, so these are the documents that are important. Make sure that your documents they are not more than two MB, and uh, they should be black and white. Um, yeah, and uh, make sure that you upload PDF. You or you can also upload a doc file or a TIFF image file, but I'd always that you upload a PDF file. Make sure that you scan your document properly. If you have a chance, go to an internet browser and scan your document. So you might be on these trailers here. What you should you can read all of this, but I will suggest that you skip all these steps. Come to step number four. You click here as step number four. This is where you can see this information. Then you scroll down, scroll down. Or oh, just to highlight a little bit, please note that the application fee it is 120. Uh, when you make the payment, you use your student number. Uh, you put your student number, then uh, you leave a space and put this number as a reference. So it's your student number and this number. Then you can send a proof of payment to this email. Uh, yeah. Or you can also decide to pay online. Here are the payment methods that you can see here. Uh, you can pay using debit card, credit card, or via the internet here. 
or point deposit or do EFTs. So these are all the payment methods that you can use. So yeah, then come and click where here, where it says next application, this link here. I'll try to post it on the description of this video. Then as you can see, the tabs here are open for undergraduate, postgraduate and master except for short learning programs. So if you want to apply for short learning programs uh, and uh, you see that you cannot apply, please don't be worried. They are not open. So you do not have to send inquiries. Because applications or qualification, they are limited. If your uh, qualification does not appear, please do not panic. Maybe that qualification is not open for application. So let's click for undergraduate now. Then do you already have a student number? If you do have a student number, you click yes. If you don't, you will click no. Then you can be asked your what, your surname, and uh, all of this uh, information. So in this case, I will say yes. If you have forgotten a student number, you can click here. I've also noticed something that when you say forgot student number, it will say maybe you have multiple whatsoever student number. I assume uh, you can correct me if you already tried. Some people can try and let us know what was the result. I assume that it is it happens when you have applied for a formal degree and also applied for a short learning program because when you apply for a formal degree, you get a, a your own student number and when you apply for uh, for a uh, short learning program you also get another student number informal student number so in this case we'll say yes because i have then after that you put your student number here then after that you click continue so yeah uh, if you already have a profile if you are registered obviously you will be taken to a part where you need to enter your your password and continue but if you don't, then you will see this information of your student number. Then you enter your surname here. You enter your names accordingly. Make sure that they align. Then your date of birth. Then click continue. Then you will be taken to this step. Yeah, um, you need to, if you have completed metric, you will click here. Uh, completed or completing any higher certificate or diploma or degree at another institution or UNISA, you can just click here. So completed a higher school certificate or higher education in a foreign country, you click here. Completed NCV, you click here. If you rewrote or passed metric, you can click here. Uh, currently in metric, you can click here, but this one, I don't think there is a need because if you are doing metric now, you cannot apply for 2022. Yes, so yeah, don't use that one. So um, let me use this one and just click continue. And then after that, you have to come and select your first choice and your second choice. As for example, as I've said, as you can notice for this uh, college here, the application period for this character category, it is closed. So now you can just try and change and see uh, others that are open. You can see this one, Accounting Science, they are open in this one. You put your specialization. Then for your second choice, you try another thing. Sometimes you'll see maybe the college it is still open, but maybe when you select diplomas, you can see that they are available. Uh, qualifications but let's say you go to bachelors you can see that it is closed for this one so yeah not all applications will be available when it when it comes to this one so make sure that you choose the correct one you see which one they are available then after that if you are fine with your, your qualification you can click continue if this take time make sure that you give it some time to process then you can see here the confirmation of what you are trying to apply for for this year. Then after that, you click continue. Then because you have applied, it will show a summary of your information here because you already have a student number. You can change the cell phone number if you are no longer using it. Make sure that you start with the plus two seven with your country code, the correct one. Uh, you can also change your email address here if you don't use it anymore and you enter the new one. Then if everything is fine, just click continue. Then you need to answer this following information. Uh, are you currently a retired or this one? So it's no, this one, are you dependent? No, are you prisoner? No. 
Then I'm here in the Houghton, or so obviously it is Houghton for everyone, so you do not have to worry. Uh, are you currently in the process of completing a qualification? So you can just click yes if you want to, then indicate the qualification you will be uh, completing. Then do you intend to apply for exam accreditation? You can click yes, then after that you click continue. Then you do not have to fill in this one, but you can answer it. Do you have a laptop? You can indicate a cell phone, a desktop. You can indicate yeah, what you have here. Then after that, you click continue. So this is a summary of your information here. Please keep in mind that some of you, you may be asked your uh, addresses, how to write your addresses whatsoever. Make sure that you enter try to use your physical address throughout your physical address so the first one it is your street number and your street name the second line it is your suburb then jump all this the lines copy the suburb and go and search for the postal code using that suburb then after that you select the relevant suburb so yes then after that you click same as the postal code you uh, use the postal uh sorry the physical address throughout so just to minimize areas yes then after that uh, yeah uh, you read all of this information then after that you click agree then you submit your application so because i am reapplying no documents are required as yet but you can upload your document by selecting from the list here for what document that you want to upload you upload so maybe you can click ID or passport, then after that to click uh, choose file. So as you can see that you receive an email uh, from the university that they have received your document. Then you upload your documents, upload. Then you can upload another document here. For example, let's say we want to upload what? Uh, qualification maybe, completed qualification. Then after that to click here. Then you click, then after that you click upload. So you keep doing the same thing. So what happens if you upload an incorrect document? Please note that per slot, per slot here, you, have, you are allowed to upload a maximum of five documents. So make sure that you check your documents before you make those all five mistakes. So that you can see here, you cannot delete this um, document here but you can just upload the correct document. Then after that, you click Submit Document. Then you will see this notification here that you have applied and what you have applied for, the date that you have applied. Uh, yes. So you can maybe take a screenshot of this one and just save it, but you already received an email. So yes, guys, this is how you apply at this university, just like that. So if you have any inquiries uh, about this university, you want to ask something where I can assist, my contact details are on the description of this video below. Some universities, they are open. Please make sure that you apply. And uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, good luck with your applications and take care of yourselves.